Once you're done recording in the field, it's time to break down and put away the audio kit. Basically, the general rule with almost anything is to start in the reverse order of setting up. So the last thing you should have done um, you know, in your setup process was turn on the task cam. Um, it's going to be the first thing that you do when you break down is just turn off the task cam. So just turn off, use the power button on the side, turn it off. And the reason why is you don't want to be yanking cables in and out um, of an audio recorder while it's on. Um, it's just not good because it carries electricity through that. You can also, at this point, once the task cam's off, you can uh, pull out the headphone eighth inch cable. You can pull that out of the task cam and free your headphone monitors. You can also pull out the XLR cable out of here. Now, the important thing is, is with any XLR cable, you know, there's going to be a There's going to be a silver release pin, so you want to press the silver release pin um, to pull that out. While you have the Tascam out, you might as well, you know, take out your SD card. You don't want to ever leave your SD card in here. Just take that out, put that away, and also you can pull out the batteries at this time. Uh, that, put that back in the bag. That is all set. Okay, and. In a later demo, I will show you how to properly roll XLR cables, which is a great, great skill to have. Um, what we can do now is um, make sure you unplug the XLR from the base of the boom pole. We can then take the boom pole, and again, it should be, if you're holding this away from you, you're gonna turn it, um, you're gonna turn this right, okay? Basically, you're gonna turn it right, and that's gonna allow you, uh, the knuckle, and that's gonna allow you to telescope in if you're holding it away from you and then just tighten it in each knuckle to the left and that will tighten it so right will loosen it when it's facing away from you and left will tighten it so once that's done you can unplug the XLR from the bottom of the pistol grip and then hold the top here of this where the cable um, strain relief is and again you're gonna turn you're gonna turn the pistol grip making sure not to spin the telescoping poles once that's off, you want to collapse the pistol grip by opening up the silver latch, collapsing it, closing the silver latch. If you find that when you're setting up that when you close the silver latch, the Zeppelin is still very loose, it's still moving like that, there's a little nut on the other side that you can just briefly tighten, you know, lightly tighten that, very little. You know, you don't want this to close really hard, but you want to have some tension on it. And that is set, that will be ready to put away. One of the things that we're trying to do with the boom poles is when we put them away is have the knuckles loose, okay, because we just, it's going to make things a little bit easier. So just, you can just hold the telescoping boom pole and just loosen um, the knuckles. So you just want them loose like that so it just can float and you put it into the boom pole bag. So let's grab our kit bag here. So here's our boom pole bag. You can place the boom pole in here. There's little Velcro straps in the boom pole bag as well that you can secure the boom pole and the cable in. Zip that up and can go back in the kit bag. Zeppelin, furry windsock. Um, now one thing I just want to mention now is uh, before you leave the library when you check out equipment you want to just test it and make sure it works. We'll have a troubleshooting module and tutorial uh, for you as well, just basic troubleshooting if you don't have sound or something like that. But basically, um, you know, just test everything before you leave room 18. Now, when we put the headphone monitors back, this is very important. The one thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that how you do this is you put the two earmuffs together, fold them like that, put the headphones in the bag, the monitors in the bag, Okay, and then just basically take the cable and just kind of fold it up and put it in there. You don't want to wrap it around the, the headphones. It's got, you know, this, this loop in it and the more you pull on it, the more stress you put on it, it's going to straighten out. So you don't want that. You want it to um, 
keep its tension and literally just put it in the top of the bag like that. Okay, that will go in the red baggie. It's a cooler. Plop that in there. Your bag with the Tascam audio kit recorder. And lastly, you want to make sure your XLR cable is in there. And we'll just do a quick proper roll of this, like this. Okay, and I'll show you a tutorial uh, on how to roll your cables proper, but the whole idea is that you know, you can basically just pull them apart and they won't kink up and, and uh, will not um, actually break. Yeah, proper roll is essential and we'll go over that. There's a, it could be a whole career field for you if you really get good at rolling. There's actual jobs uh, for that. Plus if you're a, you know, PA on a set and you actually can roll cables instead of rolling them around your arm, that's gonna make you look good. And that is that, that is the general setup um, what's in the kit, uh, general technique, basic recording, use of the Tascam audio recorder, and that's how to take care of the Cinema Studies audio kit um, that you can check out from room 18.